Hey, what's going on everybody? It's T-Bizzle here coming at you live from Medellin, Colombia. And uh, today I'm going to give you the rundown on a bunch of different topics. Uh, and give y'all some of my testimonial and experience about uh, coming here for the second time. And uh, some of the things that has happened to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start y'all off with the airport. The first place you're going to come is the airport, right? So, when you're at the airport, you're going to need some money. Get you a little bit of money. Where you get that money from is the ATM machine. That's going to give you your best rate. All right, y'all. So, this is the ATM that you use. When you get money from that ATM machine, there's... Uh, It'll tell you to take your car, but it holds on to your car for a little bit, and it'll make you forget that you left your car. That happened to me, actually, you know. Uh, I got my money out, I waited for the car to say, remove your car, I thought I removed my car, and I'm still walking around. And uh, some tell me to think, did you get your car out the machine? So I automatically go to look in my uh, wallet, and before I turn around to go check the ATM machine, somebody's coming running up to me with my card saying, here. <laughs> I'm like, dang, thank you. You know, I appreciate that. I was about to give him a little tip and he wouldn't take it. So, you know, there's some good people out here. And there's some bad. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, when you get the money from the ATM at the airport, it holds on to your card a little bit longer, maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds. I don't know. It, it, it seems like all the ATMs do it, but make sure you get your card before you leave or before you walk away. Um, the second situation is how you're going to get from the airport to your location. You know, me, I've been staying in Poblado. Um, you have different ways that you can do it. They have the bus. Airport live down here. So there go some buses that you could catch that'll get you uh, back to Medellin. Those are the cheapest routes. My oh, man ain't answering the phone though. Um, that can drive you and drop you off downtown. Um, I know they have taxis out front that you can use. I actually used one on my last trip. Um, back then it was 75,000 pesos. You can use Uber. I, I was not sure if you could use Uber at the airport, but yes, you can use Uber at the airport. So what's going on everybody, it's C-Bizzle here. And right now, we're trying to figure out, does Uber work down here? So I'm about to show y'all right now. As you can see, Uber does work down here. And it's only 50,000 pesos to get to our location in El Poblado, which is not far at all. So we're going to go ahead and use that option. All right. So right now I'm walking over here to meet the Uber. As I showed you earlier, Uber does exist here. It's 50,000 pesos, which is not that much. I think if you catch a taxi, it's going to be roughly 75,000 pesos. So by catching the Uber, you save 25,000 pesos. Uber said to meet them at the gate three. Hold on, I'll show y'all. At, at terminal three. So it says terminal three across the street. So I guess this is it. Both is terminal three though. Let's check back this way. Uber is a Uber is a good thing to use. It only costs me around fifty thousand pesos, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, last year when I came, they didn't have this new tunnel system open that they do now. Before, you would have to drive up this long, tall mountain and then drive all the way there. It took about 45 minutes to an hour and uh, to get through all the traffic by the time you get to Poblado. But 
it's a little different now so you got the tunnel open but i believe it's only open at certain times so this could be big on you not when you are going there but when you are leaving um i believe it's shut down from 12 to 5 in the morning so if you got that six o'clock flight leaving out of Medellin going to Miami, that tunnel will be closed. So you're not gonna be able to get there in that 18 minutes that the tunnel now offers you. Yeah, that's right. You get from Medellin airport to the city in like 18 minutes. <coughs> Only when you're using the tunnel if it's open. 